Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the Shangshao three-layer pentahedron. Let's get started. This is also called Shangshao or Shangshao. It's the same company. Um, they just use two different names. <clears throat> All right, so uh, my last video, I, I solved, uh, showed you how to solve these edges to match up with the centers here on the bottom, the whites, like that. And then the yellows on top, these yellow edges all the way around. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna show how to uh, put in this to match with this. So these are solved on the bottom. Um, can be a little tricky if you don't know how to do it. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the green and blue here. Um, the first thing you got to do is find a dummy corner. You want to put this in first because this is going to flip. It's going to rotate. So you got to do that first before you, uh, solve the bottom. So let's, uh, we're going to do the algorithm. You just find like a dummy edge. Like let's say the, the white, this white one, the green and blue goes here, but you want to use a corner that doesn't matter. You know, a yellow one or another white one that doesn't match. So let's do that. We're going to do uh, R2, U, R2, up invert, and then an R2. So see right now, uh, the, the green and blue that goes here, that was just here, went over here so it's going to come back once we do the move again it's going to come back so we find the on the top we find the white green and blue which is right here and we bring it around to right here because the white green and the white green and blue go here on the bottom with the green and blue white so we'll do the same move again do a r2 U, R2, up invert, and then we do an R2. So see what happened? This this green and blue came back, it came back over here, and it matched with the white, green, and blue, so we solved that. So we look for the next one. The next white on top is white, green, and red, and we'll bring it around to here. Um, you can't do it yet, so we just use uh, the dummy edge here, like this, or edge, whatever you want to call it, yellow one, because um, it's going to have to rotate. So we'll do that same move again, R2, U, R2, up invert, and R2. So we look for the white, green, and red on top which is this one right here. And it's going to go right here on the bottom. So we'll do the same move again because the other one is over here. So don't worry about that. Just do the move. You do R2, U, <clears throat> R2, up invert, then R2. And so it's solved. These two are solved. The last one's right here, white, red, and blue. It goes on the bottom here with the red and blue and the white. <clears throat> Same thing. Bring over like a dummy edge that you don't need. I'm going to do the move again. R2, U, R2, up invert, R2. Then you bring your white piece around, the white, red, and blue, because that's blue, that's red. And this goes down here. You do it one more time. R2, U, R2, up invert, then R2. So as you could see, uh, everything on the bottom is solved. So just remember that when you're doing this, uh, you know, if you need to uh, put this in place, you first got to take one of these edges that don't match on top, 
that don't match. And then you do the algorithm one time and then you find the right edge, the white edge, bring it around. So then you do the move again and then it'll put it in on the bottom like I showed. So we have the last part here. You're gonna have uh, the matching edges all the way around, all three. <clears throat> and we'll do the algorithm, it's a different algorithm and it's gonna solve the puzzle. So you do uh, like this, R2, U, R2, up invert, R2, up invert, and on the bottom, down. You do another R2, up invert, R2, U, and then R2. Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time, same move. You're gonna usually have to do it two times. Most of the time it's gonna be two times. So let's do it one more time. R2, U, R2, up invert, R2, up invert, down on the bottom, R2, up invert, R2, up, and R2. And there we go, our uh, top edges are solved, the centers are solved all the way around, and your whole puzzle is solved. So I just want to do a tutorial, show you step by step, like easy way to do it, slowly, slowly, so you can understand. Um, and, you know, this is a fun puzzle. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer you when I get a chance. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about the puzzle, like how it works, or if you get stuck, let me know. I can help you out. Um, I've solved it many times so far. Uh, really fun puzzle and uh, really interesting. And it moves really well, too. It's not, it's very smooth moves very fast, smooth, you know, it's, it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> it's not like the other uh, puzzles, like the MF8 puzzles or other shape mods that it, it's hard to turn or, you know, it's, it gets stuck. This, this is very smooth. It's really nice. So if you enjoyed my video, uh, like and subscribe. And I also have my uh, McDonald's Coffee McCafe. It's Saturday here in Chicago. I still have plenty left. I'm loving it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. I'll get back to you when I have some time. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And happy Saturday, everyone.